We want to thank the entire township of Neptune and the Ocean Grove Camp Meeting Association. And of course, the police that are doing a great job, the EMS that are volunteering today, all the businesses, these lovely residents that have let us use this lawn today. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you for your amazing passion and your commitment to our life-saving mission. We're here rain or shine, celebrating the gift of life. Our team members understand that what we do is much more than a job. It is a unified mission to save lives and give hope to those waiting for a second chance of life. Together, we are unstoppable. There's a saying that organ donation is not a tragedy but it can be a beautiful light in the midst of one. I am always amazed by the generosity and the caring nature of families who give the gift of life to others. So what brings us to our 5K today is in memory of our son, Devin Lewis. Um, and we wanted to share in the mission of organ donation and helping others. Four years ago, we lost our nephew, so we're here just to remember Robert because we miss him. We miss him and love him. My son, seven months ago, uh, was tragically killed by gun violence, and at that moment, we didn't know what to do, and this was suggested to us at Cooper Hospital, and this is how we keep his memory alive. We are here at the 5K Celebration of Life in honor of my brother, Jason Wetmore. He, uh, he passed away about five years ago. Organ tissue donation means a lot to me now after seeing what my brother was able to do. Our 19-year-old son died of uh, brain death from a seizure and we donated his organs. I come every year since my grandson Luke passed away and donated his organs and saved the lives of five people and enhanced the lives of 75 other people. It is surreal to know that he lives on in other people. In the case of Devin, his dreams were cut short but a part of him lives on in others to help them flourish. It's a new understanding and, and I'm appreciative, you know what I mean? It's a bigger view on life, definitely. I suffered from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and at uh, the age of 51, I required a heart transplant. My way of, of paying forward in my lifetime now is to go out and raise awareness for organ and tissue donation as often as much as I can. My best friend, Shirley Brown, had a heart transplant 24 years ago on St. Patrick's Day, and she's still here. Donation in general has given us time to create new memories, new moments like today. In 2019, I received my lung transplant, and next month I'll be celebrating four years. It has changed my life. We're here to celebrate life, and we're so thankful for the New Jersey Share and the network and the work that they do. If someone's not registered to be an organ donor, I, I highly uh, recommend it because you can't bring your organs with you and you can help save many lives if you just put yourself on that list. It's easy to register. It's just really a great thing to do. It's important to be selfless and to also be generous, and I feel like that's a part of the reason why I myself put myself as a donor. Just by being an organ donor, you're promising that you're going to help someone else when you lead this life. So everyone should be an organ donor for that reason. It's the gift of life for someone else. I would encourage everybody to register as organ and tissue donors because they can save so many lives just from one person passing away. Be a hero. Help save lives. Be a hero. Be a hero. Be a hero. Be, a hero. Be, a hero. Be an organ donor.